Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm really excited about this card that I'm gonna make today. Actually, I'm gonna make two cards. There is this trend right now with decorated cups, coffee cups, all sort of hand-painted or hand-drawn coffee cups. So that's where I got my inspiration from. I'm gonna try and make my own mugs today and put them on a card. So the stamp sets that I'm using are from Simon Says. This is called what's brewing and another great stamp set from Simon Says is this one called Birthday Bits and this was included with one of their kits so I'm gonna quickly ink this up with my favorite things steel gray hybrid ink and this is a great ink for Copic coloring as well as for watercoloring so I'm gonna stamp four of these cups straight onto my card There are a lot of ways you can decorate these cups and that's why I picked this stamp set because it has this line here and I'm just going to mount this onto my block and I'm going to put my block here on top of the mug and I'm going to bend this line stamp following the curved line from the mug. And this is the great thing about clear stamps, that you can bend them. And I'll have to mask the edges because the stamp it is uh, longer than my cup there. So I'm just using this full adhesive sticky notes sheets. You can use regular paper also, I just have these here on hand. So I'm inking my stamp. I'm gonna stamp my lines. Okay, now before removing that, actually, I'm gonna do some more stamping and decoration. So I'm gonna be using these small stems here. These are gorgeous. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna bend a bit my stamp and you can see here how beautiful that is so let's see how do I want this to be will it fit in there I don't know let's see well it seems it will fit And I'm going to take the one that has small triangles. I'm going to curve this a bit also. And let's see. Maybe it is too small for this big one. There is also a bigger one here. But this is way too big for the space that I've created. Or maybe not. Let's see. I told you this is totally experimenting. doesn't seem to be that big and I'm gonna use another ink and I have this galaxy gold brilliance this is gorgeous gold ink absolutely gorgeous I love it and this was also included with one of their kits and now I'm gonna go back to my small stamp So I can now remove those sticky sheets and see what I've made. <laughs> okay, doesn't look too bad. Let me show you the shimmer of that ink if I can. There it is. Love it. Now another way you can decorate these if you don't have small stamps like this ones 
you can of course go freehand and I have here a Faber-Castell marker and this has a pretty fine tip and I am bad at freehanding anything so I will just go with it I'm trying to follow that uh, curved line there I'm gonna add my own doodling here. Okay, so let's see. was the second one that's another way you can decorate your mug just because I still have the stamp positioned and all curved I'm gonna do I'm gonna decorate another coffee cup here and I have here a gold gel pen and I'm gonna do my line is here that's a bit of shimmer there Now I'm gonna add a bit of the cocoa in there with a brown pencil. Okay, and I'm gonna stamp my sentiment now. And I'm gonna grab this sending you a latte thanks. And I have this one cut out because I've used the things separately. Okay, so that'll be my first card. It's gonna be like this, very simple. You can do a bunch of these. You can color them as you, as you want. Now for my second card, I want to do more gold. And I will try some gold foiling, but without the, the laminator machine or the foiling machine and I think I'm gonna do only one cup and I'm gonna put it right here in the middle I will try to adhere my foil with some adhesive tape so I'm gonna stamp once again this cup now to adhere the foil with adhesive tape you need double-sided adhesive tape I have some Inka Dinka Do masking sheets and I'm going to transform this into double-sided adhesive paper. I'm going to place some adhesive on one of the sides. And the masking paper has adhesive on one side only. And I'm going to stamp my cup once again. And I will want only the bottom side. a bit from the bottom side okay and I'm gonna trim the inside of this shape I can remove 
this packing paper from the adhesive strips and I'm gonna flip it and adhere it right onto my cup there and I'm gonna remove the backing paper from the masking sheet and here I have all the adhesive as you can see I have this gold foil by Heidi Swap you can use any gold foil that you have it doesn't need to be uh, thermic I'm sure it, it works fine just any other gold foil and I'm just gonna place this on top and rub it with my finger and you can see here the shine from this foil now I don't have it all over because I don't have any adhesive there so yeah I did a bad cutting but anyhow maybe it can still inspire some of you I think I'm gonna go with my black marker and fill in those areas to look like that's the stamp lines and I'm gonna stamp this hello here and I think it fits perfectly and I don't need to mask off the edges I'm gonna use the gold ink And I think I'm gonna fill in all this with black. So that finishes my cards for today. They are very minimalistic, so to say. I really like this gold one here. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that this masking paper adds a bit of dimension. And there is a bit of a difference of uh, dimension between this piece and the black line that I've added. You can also add other strips of uh, paper here. So I hope I gave you some inspiration. I hope you can decorate your own coffee cups. I thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.